All right, so it's Sunday, and uh, we are going to get to work on the all-wheel disc proportioning valve installation. Might be boring stuff, but I figure I'd show the video. Uh, should be the last piece of this entire disc brake upgrade on this Nova. There she goes. I think I lucked out on that one. That could have been a major issue of having to cut that line off, reflange it, and it's just not something I want to go through. So, thank you, Lord, for letting that come off. Saving me some headache. All right, so these guys look pretty much identical. exact same bolt pattern, same rear fitting on the back, and I took the little adapter out of here because that's going to go in here. Exact same top fittings, front disc, front disc, I don't know what that is. No idea. We'll get this thing bolted up. Get the system bled. So, what I'm planning on doing is bending this bracket up to get that brake line away show you here angle all right see that down there 
way too close to the header. And I think this is the problem causing my front disc brakes to lock on. So I want this raised away from there a little more. I think it's heating it up. So by bending this bracket upwards, that's the plan. away from that header now. That's a lot better. like triple the distance now I think that's gonna be good awesome this one needs to get away from there as well that a lot better it's about two and a half to three times the distance I think it's still gonna get hot I think what I need to do is mount some sort of a, a heat shield in here or maybe wrap the header well that's impossible because that pipe is too close but uh, maybe I can mount something off at the back of this bolt and put a heat shield right there. All right, so the proportioning valve is all, all in. So let me show you what I did. I even added a little bit of a, uh, a heat shield in there. Had some material. And I will show you what that is in just a second. But this is what it looks like. So that's the little heat shield stuff I added. Basically it's a sticky back stuff with fiberglass. I probably need to put a couple little wire ties on there. Hold that on. But I've got this bent up now. Got some space here. I'll put some of that heat shield on there as well. So that's stuck on there pretty good. So I think it's going to work out. And this is the stuff I used on there. In case you're interested. Basically I just got this at uh, AutoZone. Okay. So it's a big old folded up piece and it's basically the same stuff that I used here. Okay. Because this is a fiberglass case, but oh well that's interesting. Wow. Well, I need to take care of that. Wow. So I guess those fell out, or maybe I forgot to put them in. I don't know. Anyway. Hi, hi, hi. Um, so that's it. So the next thing is, everything's tightened up now, so I just got to get the system bled. I have no one yet until this afternoon to step on the brake for me, but the entire system needs to be bled out. All right. Um, because we got new front calipers, new rear calipers. The whole system needs to be bled. It is completely full of air. Wish I had one of those power bleeder things, you know, put, put pressure on the master cylinder. 
but I do not have one, nor am I going to buy one. All right, so anyway, that's it. The system is done. I just need to get some brake fluid in it and figure out what's going on with the emergency brake in the back. So I'm going to jack it up and start fooling around with that and see if I can figure it out. All right, so talk to you soon.